Hey everybody, just wanted to check in with you. I am over here at the storehouse today and uh, we just uh, are busy doing what we do out here, serving our clients. And so I wanted to give you a little insight into what's going on around here. So let me take you around and uh, just kind of let you see what's happening here. Wasn't that exciting? Every Monday and Thursday, the Lord's Storehouse continues to provide groceries to families within our community who simply need a hand up. So I'm excited that we can be there to do that, aren't you? Thank you for your continued support that allows us to do that each and every week. Now that I'm back in my office, uh, I had a few other things that I wanted to share with you today uh, during this midweek moment. The first one is that I wanted to invite you to join us for an international call to prayer titled Unite 714. Unite 714 is based off of 2 Chronicles 714, which, as many of you know, says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Teresa and I are inviting you to join us. Uh, other pastors, leaders, and churches, and individuals just like yourself all around the world as we come together over the next number of weeks and months with one heart and one voice and one prayer to see the COVID-19 halted, lives healed, hardships mitigated, and people come to Christ and an, and an outpouring of God's Holy Spirit like we've never seen it before. So here's what I'll be doing and I'm asking you to do, to do with us. Each week, in this midweek moment, I'm gonna be attaching to your email a written prayer to help you get started. I would like you to download it and print it and carry it with you. Maybe put it on your phone so that you have it available to you. And what we're asking is that at 7.14 a.m. and 7.14 p.m. each day, you take just a few minutes and stop wherever you are and pray this prayer together with other believers all around the world. For some of you, this is just a starting point for prayer, and I understand that. But for some of you who are not as quite as confident in praying, you can simply read this prayer out loud each day or in your heart each day, calling out to God for our land and our people that we could see a healing and a touch and God's move across this land. Together, we can call out on God and we can shake the heavens and watch God move on our behalf. Will you join us? The other thing I wanted to mention to you is that the board and I have been working on providing to you an online video resource library called Right Now Media. This is a, a vast online video library of well over 20,000 different titles that we're making available to you for free. We as a church are absorbing the cost of this for you so that you can have the tools available to you each and every day, no matter where you're at, so that you can continue to grow spiritually. There are so many different titles in here on so many different topics, whether it's on marriage, whether it's on your own personal spiritual growth, there's kid videos and, and discipleship stuff in there for them, as well as teenagers. There is um, financial stuff in there. There's uh, stuff for men, stuff for women. There is Bible studies all over this thing that just fit any and every category that you could ever want and imagine. So before I continue to try and tell you about it, why don't we do this? I have a great intro introduction video that I'm going to play for you here and let you watch this. And um, then we'll be back right after this. Welcome to our study of the Gospel of John. I have fallen in love with the work of Paul as I've studied the book of 1 Corinthians, and I believe you will too. This is where Jesus taught in Capernaum, and you have to understand this scene. The Lord is my shepherd. And over the next six weeks, we're gonna look deeply into the 23rd Psalm. Right Now Media, it's for groups, 
It's for personal devotion. It's for parents. The bullseye of parenting is to raise children who become like Jesus. It's for kids. This is Phil. We're digging into the Bible, which, as we've mentioned, is more than just a book. It's for tough times. So when you recognize that you're trying to have a conversation with your spouse and they're not ready to talk, it's not helpful to keep pressing right. them. It's for every phase of life. If you've made mistakes with money, you know what that makes you? Over 12. And now, it's yours. We've purchased a Right Now Media subscription for everyone in our church. So check your inbox for the digital invitation and download the app for instant access to thousands of biblically based videos. Get equipped, get inspired. I hope that clarified uh, right, what Right Now Media is a little better for you. By Thursday afternoon, you'll each receive an invitation from rightnowmedia.org. Be aware that this invite does not come from Lebanon First Assembly this or our email address. This comes from Right Now Media. They take care of that for us. So depending on how high your spam filter settings might be, you may find it in your inbox or you may find it in your spam or junk folder. So be sure you check both places if you don't see it on Thursday afternoon. Once you get the email, you simply click on the link provided and create a password. And once you get the password done, you make sure you create a password that's easy to remember. I can't tell you how many times people have said to me, I just can't remember that password. Create something that you will be easy to remember and how it's associated with this. Once you do that, then follow the directions and you're in. And you can start viewing all of the videos that you want to video. You can go through and check out all the stuff that's there. Look at it for your kids or your grandkids or for yourself or your spouse. Find something that fits well with what your need is. Right now, media is uh, going to be accessible to you on your um, tablets. It's accessible on your computers. It's accessible on your smartphones as well as any of your smart TV. So it's pretty broad and you can get to it in a lot of different ways. So be sure you check out how you can do that. And, and I guess you could say that this would be the on-the-go resource for you, that no matter where you go, it can go with you. I pray you enjoy it extensively. Well, we have we've really hope that you um, find it to be a great tool in your life. Well, my time is about up, so i got to wrap this thing up. But I want to remind you that this Sunday, we'll be taking communion together as a part of our service. We are making that available to you, uh, some to-go communion cups, if you would like to come get one. Um, they're available in the office during our regular office hours this week. You can stop by, pick up as many as you're going to need for your family, so that you and your family can take communion together with us this Sunday in the service. Maybe you've got some things at home that you can take care of that with, and you don't need to stop by. That's totally up to you. It's, it's just a matter of taking a moment in the service to remember and honor God for what he's done in our lives through his son, Jesus, and his sacrifice. So as I wrap it up, I just want you to know, please feel free to email us if we can assist you in any way. You can email us at info at LebanonFirstAssembly.com. We would love to hear from you, love to hear of what God is doing. Maybe you've got a story to share of something that God has been doing in your life or a neighbor that you've been able to minister to or something. Share with us some stories of how God is using you during this difficult time. We'd love to hear from them, of them, and we'd love to also be able to share them with others as well. But let me pray for you as we close today, all right? Let's bow our heads together. Lord, I lift each one of our church family to you today. And I'm asking God for you to have continued covering uh, over their lives, continued safety in their life, continued provision, continued health. God, continued encouragement over each and every person that, uh, that this email reaches or this video reaches out to. God, I pray that you would just keep each one of us. Lord, for those of us that are maybe home alone and feeling a little lonely, I pray that your presence would just invade that home and invade that room so that they know they're not alone, but that, God, you're right there with them. I thank you for what you're doing, God. I thank you that you are in control. And God, I pray that you'll continue to do a work in us as we begin to pray together and unite in 714. We just ask this, God, and to touch us and to be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. 
I'll be uh, looking for you on Sunday for our service, Palm Sunday this week. God bless.